essentially what zone two training is, whether you're a runner or a cyclist, it's riding in your aerobic zone. Yeah, my heart rate is pretty high right now. Let's get after it today. Today's the day, y'all. Back on the bike after 10, 11 days off because my wisdom teeth. Uh, let's do the weigh-in. I wanna see what my fat, body fat percentage is and see if I can drop a percent of body fat at one ride. Because basically all I've been doing, you guys, is eating carbs nonstop, which I love carbs, don't get me wrong. I, I gotta be honest with you, I love them. Uh, I've been eating carbs nonstop, eating ice cream, eating yogurt, eating breads. Enough talk, let's go see what my body fat percentage is and then that'll give us our start point and then see where I'm at after the ride. I lost two pounds, but I'm sure that's just muscle because I haven't been working out at all. I'm gonna bring up the app. I use Rimfo, which is the scale I use. I'll put the link in the, the description. It tells you your body fat, water content, all the data that you have. So this is my this is what my body fat is at now. Let's do two hours of zone two riding. I'm gonna hop in toward the Zwift and see if I can burn a percentage of body fat in one ride. Oh, okay, time to eat. And just because it's a fat burning ride does not mean I do not need carbs. So I just need fewer carbs. Probably need about 30 to 80 to get me through a two hour ride. I'm gonna crush this, get dressed, get on the bike, get after it. Let's get after it today. <laughs> so I'm doing a warm up now. Uh, we're gonna do Tour de Zwift today. It's funny, I tried to hop in the 10 o'clock one. I missed the start time, so I had to move it back an hour. But man, it feels so good to be back on the bike. Like I'm just happy right now, just riding my bike off the couch. So I'm not gonna push too hard today, just do zone two and uh, see how I feel. Body feels good. My fitness ring said I'm not ready today. Said it's slow. My readiness score is pretty low. Not sure why that is, um, but I slept good. So I'll pay attention to that. Pay attention to how I feel naturally. Try to stay in tune with my body. And uh, yeah, my heart rate is pretty high right now. So we'll see. We'll see how I feel. Try not to push too hard. Actually, my heart rate is pretty, it's where it needs to be. So, get this warm up in, check back in with you guys in, in a little bit. Zone two is high level overview. I'm not a doctor by any means, not a naturopathic doctor, not a traditional medicine doctor, but essentially what zone two training is, whether you're a runner or a cyclist, it's riding in your aerobic zone. Now what it, your aerobic zone is, is the zone, heart rate zone, that you can ride in where you're only using, where you're mostly using fat as energy. So your body is metabolizing the fat, keep you pedaling essentially. Now how you can find your own zones, I've done a VO2 max test, uh, metabolic test and all that stuff. And that's where you guys probably have seen the pictures of people with those masks on their face and they're on a bike suffering. That is uh, VO2 max metabolic testing. So that's one way to get your zones. And that's how I got my zones. So when I first got my zone two zones, when I first started cycling, man, it was so bad. Like. I won't say bad, it was just where I was. I was mostly using carbs as energy when I was riding and just in everyday life. So I think my zone two stopped at like, I wanna say 120 watts or something like that, something crazy, man. The reason why that's not ideal is because if you're racing, let's talk about the cycling side. If you're racing and your body's already using carbohydrates as energy for the fuel, at that low of power or that low heart rate, I think the heart rate was like, maybe once I got into 120s or 30s, my body started switching over and metabolizing carbs. You only have so many carbs that you can burn through. If you're in a race, your zone was like me where it's really low, you'll get tired far quicker than probably a lot of your competitors. And uh, better overall for you to be a healthy individual, to be metabolically efficient at metabolizing fat 
as fuel. Once you take one of these tests, and if you're just starting out on the journey, finding your zones, you can always improve. So now, like max, I have a high max heart rate, but my zone two, I think for power rise now, is like 180 to 230. And that's my body just burning fat. So on the road, that translates to about 17 miles per hour in my fat burning zone. So the more you ride in your zone two zone, or if you're running, the more you train in your zone two zone, the more efficient your body's gonna be at using fat as fuel. And again, I'm not an expert. There's a lot of people out there who can dive into the weeds about this. So if you wanna learn more, I would definitely, my recommendation is Dr. Peter Atia. He's really cool. He's just like a longevity physician. So he talks about fasting, zone two training. I'll put a link in the description. So if you guys wanna check them out, you can go check them out. But, but yeah, that's what zone two training is aerobic training is if you are a coach and you're watching this and you have more information please put it in the comments because i'm sure it'd be helpful to people who are stopping by this channel or this video all right so we're starting toward as well i want to see if i can drop a full percentage of body fat today in two hours because i'm only going to be riding in my fat burning zone so we'll see we'll see if it has any effect at all but i suspect i might lose a little bit because of what i've been eating over the last few weeks um those that sugar just turned into fat because I wasn't exercising, but I was eating yogurt, bananas, carbs. So we should see a little decrease, but we'll see. I'll step on the scale after this ride. But we got this tortoise lift going on now. It'll be interesting if I can stay in zone two or not because I believe this course has some climbing, but we're gonna try our best. Like, what is going on, bro? You're not on the couch. <laughs> well, here's the climb. Everybody's staying disciplined. Either that or I'm just chilling out in the back with everybody who has the same idea as me today. Every time I get out of the saddle, my heart rate definitely increases a little bit. That's expected. We'll work through it. It is what it is. One piece of advice I'll give you on your zone two rides, leave your ego at the house or if you're at the house already, leave it off the trainer because you'll have carrots left and right. You wanna chase somebody up the road, chill, relax, and remember what your goal is for today. My mission today is zone two. I don't know about you guys, but I hate on Strava when like you upload multiple rides. It's all disorganized. Maybe I'm the only one that's OCD. I'm gonna get this in. I got an hour, 40 minutes left, zone two, and then we'll see where I'm at on the scale. Right. Let's see what changed, if anything. Gained weight. Probably, maybe the sweat has to do with it. On my clothes, I weighed again with the wet kit off, and these are my results. My body fat did not go down, but my muscle mass did decrease almost a pound of muscle in that zone two workout. But that was a good little fun. That was a fun little experiment. Most important thing, I'm happy to be back on the bike. Tomorrow I have VO2 workout, and I'll do a video on that. That's gonna be my first VO2 workout in 11 days, so it'll be very interesting. Make sure you like, subscribe to follow along on this training journey for my 2023 race season, and I'll see you guys soon.